Hi everybody, massive congratulations. We managed to get through paper one. All is good, a big one is out the way, fantastic. But now the focus is very much on paper two. And yes, we've got plenty of time in order to prepare well for paper two, but the key is not to be complacent with that time, not to sit back and take it too easy thinking, yeah, I can leave it till a bit later. The key is to use this time well and really maximize preparation for paper two, given how paper one has gone. I'm sure there are lots of you out there that have thought paper one's gone really well, but there will be some of you that would have liked paper one to have gone better. There's still plenty of time to improve, make those gains ready for paper two. So in that regard, guys, make sure you're taking in everything from this video, follow the guidance, and you'll be sure then to smash your paper two when it comes. Let's go. Again, with this paper, the absolute key is to be a master of the content. You wanna make sure that your confidence and the knowledge for paper two, your macro, is so good that regardless of the question that comes up, you're gonna be super, super happy to answer it. In that sense, you guys want to make sure that you're binge watching the videos on the channel, the key playlists for you, very much my year one macro playlist, my year two macro playlist, but don't forget development economics and financial markets. There are separate playlists for those videos as well. So first and foremost, be a master of the content. Go topic by topic and make sure you are learning all that material brilliantly. But also make sure you're integrating past paper questions into your revision too. You've seen how in paper one, some questions can be awkward, right? They can be worded weirdly, even if they're in topics that you like. Sometimes the way the question is written isn't so friendly. But if you are so good with the content and then you're practicing past paper questions, you're not gonna be tricked by anything. Even awkward questions, you're gonna be absolutely fine with. So my advice is start with multiple choice questions. You've done a topic area, you think you revised it well, you've memorized the content well, go straight to multiple choice. That will test whether your notes really are good, whether you have really memorized the core stuff or not. And then you want to be essay planning after that. Essay planning. You don't need to be essay writing at this stage. You've already done paper one. You know what it takes to write a good essay. Essay planning is far more efficient. You'll get a lot more done and you'll still be going through the same techniques in your head as if you're writing the actual essay. That way you're ready for anything. Anything that comes up in paper two, whether it's a really easy essay or something more tricky, it doesn't matter. Revising in that way for paper two, you're gonna be absolutely set. Also guys, make sure that you're keeping an eye on all of these specialized revision videos for paper two. My hot topics video is gonna be essential for you. Make sure you've checked that out, relevant to your exam board, but also make sure you've watched my UK stats video. That video is absolute gold dust. You want to be sprinkling those stats in your paper two essays, that is for sure. Bear in mind, most exam boards here will be very, very focused on the UK economy. So having those stats and knowing about the UK is going to be great, but also bear in mind, holistic examples outside of those stats are also very important. So examples of countries, case study examples that you can use for any topic area is also key. In that sense, my examples for exams pack will be great for you. But just make sure that you're revising application examples alongside your theory and then your essays are gonna read unbelievably well. All right, let's keep going. What else do you need to focus on? Well, you wanna be learning a lot from paper one. You know, that was your first economics exam. A lot would have happened in that period of time. So think in your head, what went really well from paper one, but what didn't go so well in paper one too? But think why? Why did things go so well? Because then you can try and repeat them for paper two. But also if things didn't go so well, you would have liked them to have gone better. Think why? You know, why didn't it go so well? So was it your content knowledge? Was it depth of analysis and depth of evaluation that you wanted to improve on? Was it the final judgment paragraph in your long essay questions? Was it application and use of examples? Was it the use of the extracts? Um, was it time management? Was it your diagram? Or was it even like panic or something? You know, did you not feel emotionally right at the start? Whatever it was, think about it. Think why you felt that way or why that wasn't quite as good as you would have liked it to been in paper one and then really strategize for paper two. What are you gonna do to fix that issue for paper two? Because yes, it might have been an issue in paper one, but that's done now, that's finished. That's over. You have a chance now to make things even better for paper two, but then of course for paper three the following week as well. 
So use this time to strategize, to make sure whatever didn't go so well in paper one is not gonna happen again, and to make sure what did go well in paper one is going to happen again. You've got plenty of time to do that, plenty of time to think about it, just don't be complacent, really, really work hard and make sure you can make those improvements when paper two comes. And as always guys, just make sure you're staying tuned to the channel, there's gonna be a lot to come to help you. Make sure you're watching all the relevant videos, yes, the content videos, but all of those specialized videos in my revision for 2022 exams playlist. And then just believe in yourself, work hard, follow this advice, put in the hard yards, and you'll see how good paper two goes. If paper one didn't quite go to plan, don't worry. Paper two is your chance to really up it and make those gains. And if paper one did go really well, don't think it's gonna happen automatically for paper two. Still work hard, follow this advice, and you'll be absolutely set. I'm with you all the way, guys. We're gonna smash this paper two together. All the best and stay tuned for more videos to come. Thank you so much for watching.